Michelle, I need your help. Can you tell me which exercises help build your booty without equipment? I really need your help. Can you build muscle at home? Today, I'm answering your guys' questions that you asked me on Instagram. Stay tuned and muscular. inbox asking me how can I build muscle at home with absolutely no equipment. I actually got a message from someone asking, Michelle, can you please make me a workout program? I have two eight pound dumbbells and one resistance band. Make the magic happen. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys and share the secret exercise that requires no equipment, no weight, and no gym membership and will help you grow muscle. But if I tell you guys this secret, then you have to promise me that you will share this video with all your little friends to help spread the knowledge. Promise, tell me in the comment section if you promise. Pause the video. Okay, we're all good, we promised, perfect. The secret exercise is, drum roll please. Nothing. Look, if a magazine, Instagram fitness model, or Mindy from the gym tells you that you can grow muscles at home with little to no equipment or body weight exercises, they are lying. You. You liar! Now let me explain to you why this is not going to make you look like this, this, or like me. So when you do a workout routine, let's say we do 20 push-ups a day, every day. So at first, it could be very challenging. You might not make it through those 20 push-ups all in a row. But by the end of the month, doing it every single day, your body will start breezing through those 20 push-ups and it's no longer a challenge. So same thing for muscle growth. Body weight exercises, bands, and eight pound dumbbells are great for beginners because their body is not used to having that stress on the muscle. The stress is the weight from the bands and the eight pound dumbbell. So when our muscles get new stress and we're doing something like kickbacks with the band and never done them before, we will get sore. When we work out, we're actually damaging the muscle. We're actually breaking down the muscle. We're not building it in the gym when we're lifting weights over and you're a beginner doing these band workouts. Now, once you stop exercising, once you stop that workout routine, once you put down those little eight pound dumbbells and you wipe off that sweat, that's when your muscles start growing. They aren't growing in the gym as you pump weights. They're actually getting pretty beat up. Your body is basically saying, wow, you us up a bit there. You beat us up quite well, quite well. So now we're going to prepare for the next time you want to put that type of stress back on us. So you're finished training, but your body's not. Your body is getting ready for the next time that you're going to put stress on them, aka those eight pound dumbbells and bands. Now as your muscles prepare for those eight pound dumbbells and those bands, they're going to ask of you to eat foods that will help repair them. Because remember, they're damaged from the stress, aka the workout. So they're hoping that you're going to fill your body with protein, carbs, and fat. Yes, they're all important. Don't let these bodybuilders tell you that protein is the most important macronutrient for building muscle. You need every single macronutrient for building muscle and especially for being healthy. So along with feeding your muscles the right food, they also want you to get rest. And while you're sleeping all cuddled up in bed, they can really work on getting stronger and prepare for that stress. Now, with all that being said, the more that you do your workouts with the eight pound dumbbells and those bands, just like the um, doing 20 push-ups every single day for a month with those bands and eight pound dumbbells, eventually your body's gonna get used to it. It's not going to affect them like they did on day one. Your muscles are gonna see you walking toward those eight pound weights and bands and laugh because it's easy breezy time for them. Your muscles are laughing at you. You can't hurt them. They're too tough now for those eight pound weights. They ain't phased by it, unfazed. So what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna kick their ass. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna up the weight to 10 pounds, right? Yeah, look at them, they're hurting again. Well, guess what? They're gonna get unfazed again. So you up the weight to 15 pounds. Oh yeah, they're feeling the pain. They're sore. The toilet seat is once again a chore to sit on. But guess what? Your muscles are such boss bitches, they, I'm sorry, but they're gonna get used to it once again. They are officially, again, unfazed. And this is the issue that happens with most of the people that work out at home and don't wanna go to a gym that has a variety of weight. Most people at home that have a home gym, they have a set of dumbbells that goes from five pounds 
to 15 pounds, and sometimes they have that random 25 pound silver dumbbell. And usually, that's for the husband. And the wife is scared to death of that dumbbell. Ladies, don't be scared of that dumbbell. You're gonna use a lot more heavier weights than that 25 pound silver dumbbell if you want to gain some booty mass. Booty mass. Booty mass. Seriously, you're gonna need more than 25 pounds. Most people either don't want or can't afford all of that variety of weights in their home. So therefore, they stick to the small selection that they have at home, and the outcome are some unfazed bored muscles stuck in a plateau. This is why it's pretty hard to build muscle at home. Now, I know some smart <laughs> in the comment section is saying, well, um, what about the professional athletes um, like the track runners or the volleyball players. They have very toned bodies and they don't really lift heavy weights. All they do is a lot of running and body weight exercise. We all know that 98% of you, I can actually confidently say that 100% of you, are not going to train like a professional athlete. Hell, most of you guys aren't going to train like a high school athlete. So take a seat and remember that working out and training is part of a professional athlete's job. So as you you sit there in that seat, ask yourself, after working all those hours at your real job, after your real job, do you really want to go train for hours and hours like a professional athlete? My answer is hell no. And P.S. Many professional athletes have weight training in their workout routine. Also remember that genetics play a huge role on how we build muscle, how much muscle we build, and how it's built. For example, I'm a mesomorphic body type, so I build muscle, it's, it's effortless for me. Like, I, it's easy for me to build muscle. I do about a 20 to 25 dumbbell shoulder press and uh, lateral raises, and my shoulders, ooh, that's wrong. Uh, my shoulders look like this. I have a girlfriend who's not even half my size pumping 35s and 40 pound dumbbell uh, shoulder presses, and she's, not even close to what my shoulders look like. So this is why it's really hard to build muscle, you know, like a fitness model at home because of the lack of equipment, the lack of weights, and the lack of variety. So can you build muscle at home with no weights or equipment? No, unless you have godlike genetics and ready to train like an athlete. Now it's not impossible to build muscle at home. If you are able to invest in some equipment to help stress the muscle and get it out of that unfazed state, then you're good to go. Now for all the people who are asking me for a home workout program. I do have one, but it goes with some workout equipment that you can find right at Walmart or Amazon. Everything will cost you under $200. I rounded up on some of the prices, but that doesn't count the dumbbell set. I was seeing all sorts of prices for the dumbbells, and so I just didn't, I just decided not to include them. And I kind of kept in mind that many people do have at least five to 15 pound dumbbells at home. And then you can slowly build up and purchase more as your muscles get unfazed. My at home workout program is a five day a week plan using all of the equipment recommended in the program that will give you a quality workout and will stress the hell out of your muscles. Just make sure to modify anything you need to modify that doesn't fit you and you will be good to go. If you want a more custom program, we can do that for you as well. Just make sure to send me an email or talk to me on Instagram and I will tend to all of your fitness needs. For anyone else who doesn't want to train like an athlete, invest in their own equipment and still refuses to go to the gym, then make sure you are around some heavy water jugs, rocks, and small children and get creative because you will not grow your muscles by doing those frilly little workouts that consist of this. My name is Michelle McDaniel. Make sure to share this video with a friend. Remember, you promised in the beginning of the video, no takesy backsies. Spread that knowledge. Let's educate ourselves and others. And if you learned something today or was entertained by my awesome drawings, yes, I know, you can tell I went to art school, can't ya? Hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to put on post notifications and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Remember, be a beast. And ladies, don't be scared of the weights. There's nothing wrong with being a strong woman. And I'll see you guys next time.